and welcome to Xinhua Lab. I'm Nie Zhuo with Xinhua News Agency. It's early in the morning, and I am on the dock near downtown Maputo, one of the busiest business areas in the capital city of Mozambique. For many years, people commute between the city and the town called Katembe, which is just across the bay using the ferry boat. Today, I'm going to take the ferry boat to experience how people cross the bay in years in this way. See the boat is very crowded, and some of the passengers are drivers. They prefer to stay stay inside the cars. At this moment, there is only one boat responsible for transporting more than a thousand passengers in a single day between 5 a.m. to 10 p.m. It's time-consuming and sometimes dangerous and it's not a very comfortable journey.
Last year, the dog from Katembe side crashed and the ferry couldn't operate for at least four hours, leaving hundreds despaired at both sides of the bay. But in a few months' time, things will change because there it's going to be a bridge This is going to be the longest suspension bridge in Africa with a span of 680 meters and a length of more than 3 kilometers. Funded by a loan from Export Import Bank of China, the bridge is under construction by China Road and Bridge Corporation. First stone was laid in 2014 and now the two towers are already there and the working platform which allows builders to walk between the two towers and release the main cable has been installed. There is a nickname for the working platform called Catway. So how does it feel to walk on the Catway? Let's go find out. Just a kind of temporary 
working platform which allows builders to walk between the two towers and to release the main cable. And from the main cable, the 680 meters deck will then be suspended. So, how does it feel to walk like the walk on the working platform? Actually, find out. Eight cables below to support each road and the steel wire nets to absorb the pressure. And the buttons, handrails, all of this is to make it safe for builders.
There's nothing down below. We we'll look down. Bank of China. The bridge is under construction by China Road and Bridge Corporation. The first stone was laid in 2014.
foreshadows. it's too high and there's nothing down below but look at the builders they just walk up and down like they are walking in the park let's get let's go to have a chat with one of them What's your name and where do you come from? My name is Stelio and I'm from Maputo. Stelio? Yes. So, how does it feel to play a role in building the first cross-sea bridge for your own country? I feel joy and proud to be one of the members who play a role in to build a, a bridge to crossing the sea of our home country. And it's going to be a big development to our country because it's be easy to relate Maputo and Kadembe. Let's see what's it going to be. Thank you. Thank you very much. You. As far as we know, the whole project, including the bridge and its connecting lines, with more than 80% of its employees are locals, have helped create about 2,000 job opportunities for the country.
we've come from the south tower and now we are reaching the north tower. There is no better position to have the whole picture of the city and the bay. <laughs> On the north side of the bridge, um, we have a perfect view of the city, urban capital Maputo, composed of tall buildings, busy traffic and billboards. But on the south side, Katun Bay, there are vast green fields to be explored and developed. One of the direct impacts the bridge will bring to Katun Bay citizens in particular is that they will equally enjoy the same goods and services accessed by Maputo city dwellers. Because Katembe is a tourism region, local businesses should also see their profits grow due to the bridge. On the other hand, Maputo city itself, which currently is a bit overcrowded, should also gain more space and energy for expansion. citizens they will enjoy the same goods and services accessed by Maputo city dwellers
main cable to be released. From the main cable, the 680 meters deck will then be suspended. One more section to go. Ah. You see a lot of builders on top of the tower. Some of them are speaking Chinese dialects. I think some of them are from Sichuan province, maybe. And most of them are locals, local builders.
are going down to the north ground.
We are back now on the ground, safe and sound. Now we will wrap up our live report. If you like our show, please share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Keep following Xinhua with more news and updates. Thank you for watching. See you next time.